Please, please stand by for a That's Not Right public service announcement. Hey, uh, it's just me right now. Um, <laughs> I have to start by apologising for the lack of episodes in the last month. Uh, one week Nick was working, then I was working, and then I had an appointment, then Aurora had an appointment, then Alex was up north filming, and he's got his play going on. And Yeah, so I apologise in advance for the lack of posts and episodes. Uh, it's a bit of a schmuzzle trying to coordinate for people to meet up every week but um hopefully yeah with we we'll find some sort of stability or either which way um yeah but thank you for everyone that's actually messaging me asking me when the next episode is going to be up because it means that people are paying attention or appreciating what we do and i really appreciate that and so does everyone else so thank you to everyone that's been listening it's been a long season and this is ultimately wrapping up season two of that's not right podcast i can't actually believe that it's been two years since we started it and um it's been pretty fucked up that people keep tuning in to listen to us ramble every week um i don't know that i don't know how i'm going to wrap this i just honestly uh, with nick being away overseas in hawaii right now alex very busy with his play um i felt that yeah we just i needed to do an official sort of season two closer Again, I don't know what I'm meant to be adding to this right now because it's just me by myself. On behalf of everyone, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been following and liking, sharing and following, even though we do very little to promote it every week and very little to actually express it every episode. I didn't actually know what was going to be involved past the point of creating this podcast it's kind of shocking to be doing it for two years strong it's sort of evolved the 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 podcast really has evolved over the last two years it's it's changed you know and um i've I've been busy the last couple weeks basically using the time that we haven't been in at hq i've been doing the best of episode so it's given me uh, basically what happens is in order to create the best of episode, I literally have to go back to every episode and listen through to like, you know, snippets that either stood out, segments that stood out. You know, I monitor the, um, the messages and stuff and, and so on that we've, I've been sending to everyone involved, you know, and seeing what we've replayed to ourselves and requoted and things like that. And I sort of use that to compile. And, you know, season two, there was eight or so months with Nick and Johnny and myself. And then from, you know, the last couple of months, it was a combination of Nick, Alex, and Aurora, and myself. So just from these five individuals, there is approximately four hours that I've put aside so far. I need to go back and refilter it, but chances are it will be... I mean, there's a lot of content there and a lot of stuff, which yeah, I found really amusing. And a lot of people... I ended up getting a lot of messages back from people, you know, requoting stuff and all that sort of shit. And for, for me, like, it's been... Yeah, it's been... a really big journey just to hear what we document every week um <laughs> i don't know I, I sort of feel awkward that's weird because I'm, I'm sitting here talking to myself ultimately i mean nick's away in hawaii so i've got a lot of the recording equipment at my joint and hopefully we'll try and get season three started with a dim tits and chanel episode um but it's, yeah, it's really quite strange and confronting when you're sitting there talking to a microphone on your own. I'm, I'm just in my studio right now and it's fucking sad. <laughs> um, I thought I'd give you some sort of content just to take away for the uh, season two, just as a closer. And it's really weird listening back to every episode from the last season. I mean, I don't know who who's coming in sort of in the, in the last couple months or who's been from the start or who's been listening you know to everything you know over the last season but it's it's really weird i mean we really are you look at it it's like a time stamp of where we are and it's really is a sign of 
what we pay attention to. I mean, you listen to the first half of season two, and it's a lot about Trump, and there's a lot of things about, um, yeah, just a lot of pop culture shit and just random sort of events and things like that. And then as the season closed, it's there's almost nothing about Trump. You know, it it's really strange because I mean, I don't know, if, I don't know who out there has a diary and who goes back and reads over their past entries and all that sort of stuff. And, yeah, it's like looking at photos from 10 years ago and seeing, you know, what you're wearing and who you're with and where you are and all that sort of shit. And I guess, yeah, listening back to the last season, I sort of, I've been doing a lot of reminiscing and then, not not over the last season, but I've been looking over the last season, I've been going outside of that and looking back at where I've come from in the last, say, 10 years and, you know, looking at photos and ultimately I've been doing a bit of a clean out as well at home and just finding, you know, old photos and shit like that just remembering nights out with different people with different places and just it's amazing when you actually stop and think about you know where you've been who you've been with and what you've been doing and so on it's a nice point of reflection i think a lot of i think a lot of people out there don't actually do it often enough but yeah in regards to the podcast um i i on on behalf of myself would like to thank everyone that's been involved with it so far and i want to i want i would like to thank everyone that has supported us since day dot all the all the messages i get personally or all the messages to the podcast accounts uh you know i try to get wind of most of them i mean obviously it's kind of hard to handle every bit of social media and all that sort of stuff but i get most of the messages and if i don't see them i'm really sorry so you just might want to resend something or make me aware of something else that's been put up but i try to reply to as much stuff as i can but i i want everyone that listens to know that i really appreciate you know you guys tuning in every week or you know hassling me for a new up update or an upload i want to say um yeah it's it's literally just the support from other people that keeps this going uh, i'd like to see this podcast grow out and become something a bit broader you know i mean we always want more more listeners and like i said like I've said a few times, you know, I mean, no one's getting paid for this, so it's a labor of love, but it really is ultimately the feedback we get from everyone, especially people, you know, who make themselves known to us that we don't know, aren't affiliated with any friends or family or colleagues or anything like that. You know, make yourselves known to us because it really keeps us going. I'd like to see a bit more feedback from anyone that listens as far as what you'd like to see more of or, you know, Anyone that wants to be a part of it, anyone wants to feature something on it, suggestions, questions, you know, put it forward to this every week because, I mean, the individuals involved, we're, I mean, we're all different and we bring something different to the table every week. But, you know, I spend a lot of t- in my free time now, you know, I spend my downtime sitting in front of YouTube watching CNN updates, you know, or Stephen Colbert episodes. But I rarely discuss it unless I'm just, you know, side noting a fact or an update or something. But it's rarely ever mentioned. Yeah, you know, but there are people out there that want to hear more from political pundits. You know, I, listen, I, I watch and read, you know, the Young Turks pretty frequently. And I could sit here and talk about American politics and that sort of shit. And, you know, some people find it interesting, some people don't. So I, I'd love to hear more feedback on what people actually want to tune in and hear every week. At the same time, this is a podcast based on absolutely nothing, so it's going to be completely random. I mean, everything's nothing scripted. I mean, anyone that listens to our brand of crap knows that. <laughs> I mean, you sort of know what you're going to get when there is no story, and it's absolutely nothing, <laughs> whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know, I've sort of tuned out from a lot of the political shit that's happening especially in our own country but i was reading the fucking paper the other day or like it was news.com or something and i saw something about jackie lambie got her own reality show based the uh, trying to find a, a date but who the fuck wants to see that on tv that this is what's on tv jackie lambie no one gave a fuck about her when she was in politics how the hell is she a charismatic enough individual to warrant her own fucking reality show the jack the jackie lambie hour on the, the, like really Do other Australians actually know this? But seriously, anyone out there, did anyone actually watch that fucking Jackie Lambie piece? (laughs) I thought it was a joke. I really did. But it sort of tells you where Australian media is right now and why everyone's sort of fixated. Everyone, yeah, a lot of people I know listen to American produced podcasts and stuff like that, and I don't fucking blame them because it's jack shit. I mean, Australia's leading podcasts for ages were all American based, you know, like Rogan or that uh, stuff you should know and all that sort of crap and that, you know, um, that history one. I can't remember what it was called, Extreme History or something. And then after that, I was like, Hamish and Andy. I'm like, really? Really? 
I'm so desperate to make stars out of nothing. Like, fuck me dead. Jackie Lambie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sort of just rambling now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I, I'm going to make this short and brief. I mean, as short as it can be. But, um, yeah, again, thank you to everyone that listens. And I will try and get the best of episode up in the next week. Uh, Nick's back in a week or two. I can't remember. Ten days or something. Fucking cunt. I'm to Hawaii. Seriously. <laughs> Um, I can't believe it's been a year since I was in Malaysia. No shit. Um, fuck. But yeah, uh, again, thank you all for, for listening. I went and saw um, Alex's play uh, last week. Yeah, it was a week ago. I, I took my mother to go see that with an auntie of mine, and people were crying in the fucking audience. No shit. It was actually, I saw Alex today for a quick coffee. I didn't actually get to mention it to him that um, I, I told him that I, I went and saw the play and people were crying, but um, I didn't get this. I, I forgot to tell him that uh, it was refreshing to see him in, in a role where he was swearing and, you know, it was off the cuff, especially with the Jersey accent, you know. He was wearing shorts in the, the first scene, and that really struck me. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, but that was actually a really good production, and I'm, you've got about five days to go and watch it if anyone cares to that's in Melbourne. <laughs> no, but really, no, go, go suss it out, Ironbound. Um, I want to thank yeah, the Alex and Aurora especially for coming on board for uh, this the end of this season. Um it's nice to see friends of mine that, you know, I've known for years actually get involved in something like that creatively with me. And, um, I mean, Alex and I have known each other for years and we've always sort of bantered and talked about projects and, you know, cross-referenced uh, each other's work and things like that. But this is the first time I've actually both been involved in something creatively. So that's been pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Aurora for stepping in and taking on a role on this podcast um truth is it's kind of hard to sort of hang with three dudes especially when you don't know two of them particularly well so it takes us you know someone with a lot of balls and a lot of moxie (laughs) to um yeah to get involved with say something like this and um so yeah my hat's off to her thanks to nick for you know doing the late nights even uh, when we've had episodes on, on on tuesday night a poor bastard will be at work from you know eight in the morning that morning and won't have left the same fucking location till 11 o'clock that night so big heads up to him especially with juggling work and a newborn i hopefully this podcast yeah becomes goes on to the next level and um again i can't express how much i appreciate everyone tuning in every week and messaging me for updates and things like that it i really really need to ask everyone honestly if i you know if you're a listener if you're a long time listener especially please just click the like or follow or or share or yeah any any of those buttons share them to you know five people if we if we have two thousand listens you know and everyone shared it once that's in yeah, to one person. The algorithm speaks for itself, seriously. I'm going to try and look at getting a bit of funding, maybe Kickstarter or even just trying to, you know, bust up some of my own money to try and put into this, to try and get it on a more regular recurrence or a bigger platform. Hypothetically, I mean, we have running costs every week, every week, every month. You know, you have hosting fees and you have, I mean, not my time, you know, spent editing this thing, but I'm just talking generally, you know, hosting fees and equipment and upgrades and all types of shit. You know, I mean, it, if you pay, say, you know, 30 bucks a month for, for this to be hosted on the internet, and if I get, if, if that's not right, gets, you know, a thousand listens a month, let's say hypothetically, if everyone paid a dollar for the year, you know, you'd, you'd cover all your, your fees for everything and it would allow us to do more and more and provide more regular content, you know, more routinely and so on. So I've actually got to get, look into it. But again, this is something I didn't think anyone would actually listen to, let alone pay for or even support. And the response has been incredible. You know, thanks to everyone that requested to have stickers sent to them and all that sort of shit. It, you know, seeing people put up these stickers on, you know, their laptops or their letterboxes or whatever, like, you know, we really appreciate it. It's, it's amazing. But yeah. I think I've covered more or less everything I can cover on my own without looking at material. <laughs> um, yeah, so stay safe. <laughs> I don't actually know why I'm saying that. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get that best of episode up and uh, we'll be back to you. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. Laters.
Wow. Shit.